Hey guys! So this is the first episode of footage check-in. Let's tell you guys, I've been trying to take a video forever, but as you know, the streets of New York are very noisy. So I can't wait for you to see. Stay tuned to see my first pick. This is the building that I am going in, guys. It's just beautiful. And guess what? I got lost, so I had to go back because the rest of the direction is inside. I had to go and ask the security guard for the right. So guys, this place is huge, okay? So when you come here, make sure you ask some information because probably like me, you will get lost. I am so excited. I have been dreaming about coming to this restaurant. And we'll see. This is the first entrance, but this is not the main one yet. I cannot wait for you guys to see this. Thank you. The ones that are here, the ones that open by itself, and she'll let you know when to go through. All right, thank you. If you're afraid of height, do not worry, you guys, because this elevator does make the ride smoother. I kind of feel like a kid in the candy store because I love those 3D images. I kind of feel like I'm riding through the city. But listen, it's because it's located in the 101st floor, guys. So they definitely had to do this. I didn't feel a thing, but my ears was feeling a little bit, you know, weird. And this is it, you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Peak. Peak is a contemporary American restaurant located in the 101st floor at the 30 Hudson Yard. Guys, this is like 1,200 feet above the ground, but trust me, it is worth it. It's right above Edge. Edge is another beautiful, amazing piece of art located also at the 30 Hudson Yard. This is one of the tallest observation deck in the Western Hemisphere, you guys. This is definitely worth visiting. And as you can see, although the view is still breathtaking, you guys, but do not go at 1130 like I did. If you're trying to catch the sunset or beautiful picture, please go around 4 p.m., 6 p.m. or at night so you can get the full amazing and everything else view the Empire State Building and everything else. But that time was not the right time for me to go, but it was still nice. And check out the wine collection, you guys. The previous book that I had in my hand was their wine book, okay? I'm not a big wine drinker. I'm a Caribbean girl, so I went and had a Caribbean cocktail with Jamaican rum, and I had my burger. Guys, this was amazing. The drink was amazing. And also, a girl was not trying to spend her last coins at this restaurant, okay? It's kind of a bit on the pricey side. I had a burger and I had one drink. I also had the milk bread, which I adore. Um, my total was, I think, $70, you know, for these three. So, um, I'm not a big burger person. But, you know, this burger was $35, you guys. I definitely think they could have done better for $35. But, nevertheless, it was okay. But the milk bread was my favorite. And overall, I can say that I enjoyed it. The view was amazing. Although, I think that I'm going to come back probably at 6 p.m. next time so I can enjoy. Because um, they have more variety of food for dinner. And also, the dessert that I wanted to try, the egg, was also served at dinner. So, I think I will definitely come back for dinner time, you guys. So, here's my receipt. My total was $70.77. I definitely feel like... <laughs> It was a little bit exp expensive, okay? But I enjoyed it. It's worth it. Um, I would suggest you guys visit. It's it's amazing. You're not going to regret it. The view is breathtaking. I said, I will come back. I will definitely come back um, at the peak and try the dinner and the dessert and everything else. So one thing about this place, you guys, you will not have a problem with views, okay? You have views for days, night, forever and ever. And everything is breathtaking and gorgeous. Why do I exit through a store? The devil is a liar. I'm not buying anything. I am. Oh my God, these are so cute. <laughs> oh, they are, they are not bows, but... Nah, y'all done made me spend all my coins upstairs. But it look good. The stuff looks good. I'm not gonna lie, I do like these cups. But definitely don't come here with kids. I'm gonna visit. Oh my god, yeah. Guys, this is a setup. Look at this. 
if I go inside, I might get something. I don't want to go in, I want to go in. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this is a setup. Why would these people make me? I mean, Gade Pabu Leger, but I now tell me why the exit is directly like in front of the candy store. Like, oh, this is cool. Check this out, guys. I don't wanna. They look so good. These are guilty pleasures. Check this out. If you're coming to this restaurant with your kids, let a pass it make sure you feel hui because this is ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> let me get the hell out. The great thing about this is like I feel like a tourist, you know. Yeah, right. A tourist that don't want to spend any money. But uh, the view guys, it's amazing. It's a must visit, okay? So I had the great time at the PQ guys. I loved it. I really went for the view. The drink was amazing. It was like a, a kind of a Caribbean slash American drink. It was absolutely amazing. Um, the name is in the bio description and check out the view. Listen, you ain't got to worry about views when you're coming to this place because you have views for ever. Make sure you visit because you can take tons of cool pictures, enjoy with your family, and have some great food. And if you love art like me, they have an amazing wall art. Like, you can take amazing and nice pictures. This wall was absolutely stunning, you guys. So make sure you visit because you will not regret it.